Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm showing you how to do two color stamping using stamps from Art Foamies. In this video, I'm going to show you how I could do this two color stamping. Here, I made a variety of cards. I sort of made them all at the same time because once you have your paint on your stamp buddy, you want to just keep on stamping. So these are Art Foamy stamps from Art Foamy, obviously, and they are a doily design. Now, when you buy a stamp, you get what is called a stamp buddy, and it is this foam pad. And that's what you apply your paint on to do your stamping. Now, what I have done is I took black archival ink and I used archival because um, it is a permanent ink. And I put the black on my art foamy and I stamped it onto the stamp buddy. So I can see it pretty much where it is. Now, when you go to stamp back on, you probably won't stamp exactly in the same spot, but you're pretty close. So you'll get the two different colors. So we're going to work with the small uh, stamp and stamp buddy today. So I have picked, I'm going to use unbleached titanium and then this turquoise color. And so you can see I've got different rings going on into the stamp. So what I start by doing is putting some color where I want it. I can always go back and add more. So once I sort of have color on there, then I'm sort of uh, pushing it, it into my stamp buddy. I'll probably have to add more paint over there. Now Art Foamies has a whole bunch of different types of designs and um, stamps. So you can check them out. It, they have really great if you want to stamp like on fabric and for art journaling, card making. Now you can see some got up here where I want the blue, but when I go to put the blue on, I can just put it over top of it. The other option is if you don't want to put it straight onto your stamp like that, is I can just put it on the side here. That might be way too much, but, and then bring it in to work with it. And if it gets where you don't want it, we can go back in with the other color again. Because of the type of stamping I'm doing, I don't need um, exactness of it. I just want a fun two color design. You wanna make sure though there's enough paint um, there. Don't be stingy with your paint. Especially if you're going to be doing a lot of stamping. I'm not doing a lot of stamping right now. It's more just to show you. But if you want to do multiple stampings, the more paint you have, the more prints you'll be able to get. So this is basically your ink pad is what we are building up here when you typically stamp with ink pads. But when you stamp with foam stamps, it's a great time to use paints. Of course, you can still stamp with regular inks with the Art Foamies, but they're really designed to work with heavier mediums such as acrylic paint. Now 
And I can just put a bit more of the um, bleached titanium. I'm going to just wipe the blue off my little spatula here, palette knife. And I can go back in with some of that titanium. Something like that. So I'm going to wipe off the excess paint for now. Okay, so I have a card. I'm using a watercolor card. I like to use it just because it it's a little thicker. Um, they have different mixed media papers, but because it's acrylic paint, it's would pretty much work on any paper. So you just squish it into your stamp buddy and you can see that um, there's a lot of paint on there and then we can stamp it on. I'm going to just stamp it to the side for now. And there we have our two colors. Now because it's acrylic paint as well, you can work with any two colors. It doesn't have to be colors that blend well together. Whatever colors on top usually will just show through. So you can mix and match and work with some interesting colors. But you can see once you have your stamp buddy made, you can continue to do lots of stamping. There's a pile of paint in there so I can stamp over and over and over again. So that's the other thing to gauge depending on how much stamping you want to do. Uh, would sort of dictate how much paint you might want to put into your stamp buddy. Once you are all done with your stamp and stamp buddy, um, you want to wash it off. What I suggest is maybe just getting a pail of water and washing off all the paint and then maybe just dumping it outside or in the garden or something um, and not down. You don't want to necessarily put all that acrylic paint down your sink. So that sh shows you how you can do two color stamping using the Art Foamy Stamps and Stamp Buddy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye.